If someone told you that in a few years you'll have a collection of hundreds of things you don't really need, what would you say? No way you'd do such a silly thing, right? My name is Janko, I'm a graphic designer and illustrator, and I collect cycling caps. I could wear a different one every day for almost two years. Why do such a thing? Is there anything to learn from it? What is collecting anyway? Italian horse racing flags and Japanese sword guards. They don't have anything in common, but both inspired Alexander Girard while designing a wide range of patterns for Hermann Miller in the 1960s. Decades later, Hermann Miller and Rafa created a few series of limited edition caps. The 2016 series was one of the first that I bought in full. It was around that time that I got seriously into collecting. Charles and Ray Eames designed several patterns for Hermann Miller as well. Cultures or traditions were not born whole at a specific moment in the past. Everything is inspired by something else and things change all the time. For example, African wax prints were inspired by Dutch wax prints, which themselves were an attempt to copy the Indonesian batik. Japanese tenugui were used as hand towels or headbands. These days people tend to use them for a wide range of purposes. Shiva is a traditional manual dyeing technique, produces a number of beautiful unique patterns on fabric. All stories can find new life as well. One of my favorites is this cap, which I thought looked strange at first, but once I learned about its source of inspiration, I fell in love with it. The design is based on the kibuna fish, a local folk toy and lucky charm dating back to the Edo period. Local folklore tells of a farmer who caught yellow carp in the river and fed it to his family, curing them of a disease. Since then, the fish has been a symbol of good luck and can be seen all around the Utsunomiya town. Many caps are inspired by a region's geography, flora, architecture, symbols or even festivals. The Rafa Prestige is a series of cycling events happening all over the world. For a few years, each location had a different design. The road itself can be a source of inspiration. Sakalobra in Mallorca is definitely memorable. Some can reference a musical genre, others can be based on maps or street layouts, Pro Cyclist data works as well, or Ranger's Hat. Yogi Bear would surely love this one. Autumn leaves, a boat party, cycling food, anything works. Some caps are good lessons on language. Obeyama in Japan is home of a popular cyclocross event. The race often gets muddy, so Doro, the Japanese character for mud, is part of the event's identity. In a delightful twist, a rubber boot replaces some of the character's strokes. Collaborations are a great way to discover new artists or designers. Some just apply their own work in this different context, while others create something completely new. The Cinelli art program has been going on for quite a while, with new artists added every year. Sometimes two well-known brands can collaborate. Paul Smith himself was a young cyclist, and has been involved in many cycling-related projects. Liberty London are well known for their long tradition in textiles. They've worked with Rafa several times, creating beautiful caps using fabrics from the 1930s and 1970s. This one reminds me of my dear grandma. Jeff McFetridge is one of my favorite artists, so his collaborations with Rafa are among my favorites as well. Focus is about what you say no to. Many collect vintage or racing team caps, but I'm interested in beautiful or unusual designs, the ones I can learn from. Of course, sometimes it's good to break the rules too. While traveling, I usually look for places to buy new caps from. This takes me to areas that I wouldn't see otherwise, often meeting really interesting people. Some caps remind me of specific moments. But those moments are not always directly connected.
Some can even remind of a missed moment. We were looking forward to seeing Mount Fuji while in Japan, but the train is so fast that we missed it. Only later at home I realized I actually captured it without knowing. This set of caps was one of the first birthday presents my partner gave me. She loves sewing, so I was lucky she also made these ones for me. We often visit fabric shops while traveling. It's yet another good way to learn about the locals. Birch trees always bring back memories. My granddad and I used to do a lot of hiking across the Transylvanian hills and mountains. Spotting the beautiful white trees from far away was one of the games we played. Grandad was a keen cyclist and mountaineer. One of his adventures was riding the route he had done as a soldier during the Second World War, around 2,000 kilometers from Romania to Czechoslovakia and back. He was in his 60s at the time. Grandad liked caps as well. Sometimes I wish he'd lived a bit longer so I could tell him about my long rides in Europe and Japan. Some are impossible to get at first, for various reasons. I was lucky to find this limited edition cap after about two years of monthly checking. Others are easy to get, but you decide they don't fit in the collection. After a while though, you change your mind and end up spending quite some time trying to find it again. While working, I often check the caps for inspiration. Early on, I started thinking of designing some myself. Maison Caramel is a boutique B&B in the French Alps, in a great area for cycling or skiing. The owner asked me to design the logo and identity for it. You can probably guess which part of the project was the highlight for me. Wearing a cycling cap is a bit of an art itself, and my friend Serge is a master. Drawing on caps is fun as well. I did this for a competition, won, and got to design my own matching jersey. Around the same time, I started doing a series of hand-painted plates. Some of the best work happens when you put different things together. Many think some people are special, but usually those people just put a lot more time in it than others. This applies to sports, arts, almost everything. It's worth doing something for a long time, even if the benefits are not always clear. Good, surprising things come out of it. You also learn about yourself in the process. After about two years, I started thinking it would be a shame if I were the only one enjoying the collection. So I set up an Instagram account and started posting regularly. People from all over the world get in touch to express their appreciation or to ask for tips. Friends also have started bringing me caps from their travels. I try to help those collecting as well. Sometimes I make hand-drawn caps to say thanks. This was for a kind Japanese friend, a matching drawing and hand-painted cap. Gambara in Japanese means do your best. <laughs> 